Hi guys, how you doing? So today I went with a very golden glow look. Um, I was asked to do it on one of my other really old tutorials actually where I had done like a golden dewy glowy look but the eyes weren't particularly dark and um, some of you had asked me to do more of a smoky gold so of course I obliged. Um, these are magnetic false lashes. And I curled my hair using a wand. So, if you want to know how I created this look, and not very much time to be honest, stay tuned. And give me a little thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and uh, maybe click the bell so it can go with ding ding. Joe's done another video. Hi. I'd love that. Fun's got us. Here we go. Hi there, um, welcome to my new video. Um, I have been asked to do more of a um, gold smoky eye look today. So um, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go through my whole pr uh, prep because if I'm gonna do a golden look, I like to have my skin looking really gold. And as you know, as I've already mentioned, I have the skin of a jellyfish. Um, so I tend to kind of put it everywhere so um i gave myself a beautiful facial last night i really did a, a exfoliating peel but it's kind of getting a little rash chocolate but so but the the facial got rid of um most of the zit so anyway i tend to babble on gonna start with some charlotte tilbury wonder glue ba -da -ba -da -bum -bum -bum. Get on my face. And I just, oh God, I just love this stuff. I love this stuff because it already gives a glow. I guess that's why it's called Wonder Glow, maybe. Um, yeah. Anyway, so um, the foundation that I'm going to be using is my NARS one. Why? Because it's actually a really light foundation, as in weightless. Um, but it's also, I've got it in the shade light. However, I have a trick up my sleeve. I have, if I can find it in my, uh, uh, where did I put it? I'm use my Studio Secrets um, Universal Colour Drops. These are just great. I use quite a bit because I'm going to use quite a bit of foundation because I'm going to go all the way down. Hence my wearing a strappy top. My palette. And I'm going to add my foundation to that. Yeah, I know. It looks like a lot, folks. Like I said, I'm going all the way down here. Because, I don't know if you've noticed, but the sun is out and um it's looking pretty warm so i wanna i wanna look glowy i wanna look glowy too um i have instantly made a boo-boo because i have forgot something so i'm just gonna put this into an anastasia beverly, beverly hills and she's gonna put it um just on here this is like a palette Instead of using the back of my hand as a palette, I'm going to pop it on there because I forgot to use star drops. This is the stuff that I think I mentioned in one of my other tutorials. Ooh. It's like, um, it's like an Oil, it's like a dry oil, and it 
it's really nice because you can put it on apple blue. And it gives you an instant sparkle. Pretty, is it not? So now I'm not using the back of my hand as a palette today. I'm just using this little palette makeup from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, but I want to add gold. I like gold. My, my favourite. I do have the um, very similar MAC um, gold pigment drops. But for some reason, they can't seem to beat these ones, um, which I got really cheap off like Amazon or eBay or something. Or, gosh, somewhere. I don't know. I show you what I'm doing. I'm going to be quite generous with this. Because I want to be gold and glowy. No, where is my mixer? This is actually a cocktail mixer. But it's perfect for mixing up different shades of foundation. And little other tips that you put into it. Um, using my Banks Cosmetics Beauty Blender, I'm going to do the flat end. Um, I'm going to be here for ages, so, you know, cut to the bit. I'm going to cut to the bit where I'm done. Done. I went all the way down with my foundation. Jet Leaf Fish No More. Oh, bye bye, jellyfish. I'm a weird mood. This is isolation. Some crazy things to my brain. Um, okay, and as you all know, I always keep a towel on my lap when I'm doing my makeup. Because I'm, I'm like the chef out the Muppets when I do anything like this, when I do my hair, makeup, anything. I'm like, brody, girly, brody, girly. And it goes everywhere. So, um, now I need to do my highlighter and my concealer. So I'm going to use the um, MAC um, NC25 Select Moisturiser Concealer. Um, because it's got a Dover. <laughs> and because it's, it is slightly warmer, I don't want a white one going underneath my eye. Because that would look really weird if I'm going in for like a tan look. I'm going to use that just under my, on my under eye area. However, however, I am going to go in with the ColourPop um, No Filter Concealer that is white. She also has a dofer, which is kind of handy. And just put that on my lips. Mm -mm, mm -mm. It's like wall paint, isn't it? Look kind of tribal right now. Just go a little bit on the side. So I'm kind of this, always striving to get the width of my nose looking smaller. Goals. Goals. If I refuse a nose job. I am what I am. But I will make it better with makeup. Um, This is my new side fave. Um, cream concealer. Um, 
c'est la cream contour la bourgeois when I first used this I was like oh I'm so scared so I'm just learning that I'm trying to get this the two lines here as slim as possible so just do the job and also two let's give that j-lo strong jawline thing you know what you know what i haven't done this before pop some in the clavicle shall we i've not done this with the cream concealer i've only ever done that with a bronzer Why not? Once again with my beauty blender, it was damp. Um, I damp by the way, damping it down. Um, I already wash. I wash it out as soon as I use it, and I, I use just use like either my Smashbox primer or my um, Prep and Prime by Mac. Let's give it a little spray over. I won't let this guy sink in. I just watched the greatest German. Oh. Oh, um, can you tell? I love that movie. Ah, oh, gosh darn, where are you, girl? Right, Laura Messier. I'm just going to do, um, I don't want to bake this. Normally I leave it on and I bake it, but I'm not going to this time because I, I want to brighten it out but I don't want to go like too cray cray just using a little triangular sponge so I can get right up in that underneath of the eye da -da 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 -da. a little bit over here so again I don't want that kind of really bright under eye area You'll notice it's not as strong as I do in my other makeup videos because I'm not going to bake it. I am immediately going to mesh it all together. I get this all toggy. Who else struggles? Who has way too much makeup? Who was ashamed of it? Not me! <laughs> okay. I am... Mm, 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 I'm going to use it for my face. I'm going to use my Revlon Shimmer Brick. It's Revlon, man. And a big fluffy blush. And I like it because it's so different shades. It's smashy, smashy, smashy. And marry it all together. And the thing is, I go, I go with the sparkly one because I don't want to mattify all that work I've just done on making me look like um, J-Lo Glow. Does anybody... Oh my God, that... J-Lo. I talk about J-Lo a lot. Okay. Goals. Goals. If I look like her tomorrow and she's 10 years older than me, I will be happy. The woman is phenomenal. Um, but do you remember her video? Waiting for tonight. Oh. Um, her makeup on that, and she's got like jewels all over her face. Oh, only we could get away with wearing that, right? Anyway. This is just it's a bronzer. I'm not using it as a contour. Because it's, it, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's slightly more orange pigmented than the other contours, which are more beige. Um, but I'm going for l'orange. I'm just going to go over what I already did. <sighs> I don't want to 
to put like too much powder on this, but I kind of don't want it to smudge either. I'm feeling so glowy. I really like it when I do these makeup looks because my eyes look so blue. I have tinted my eyebrows. Um, I think I'm not contouring enough. I'm going to go on with a slightly stronger contour brush. This is a as a way about the fine buffer. I'm gonna use my barrier. I'm really want to define that jawline. Just on me, just on me. Mm. And I like when I get in the shower later. It's like pfft, orange. <laughs> okay, so I just did my brows off camera because you see me do it a million times. Let's talk about more. Let's talk about more, baby. Let's talk about bronze goals, yeah. This is 350G Bronze Gold Palette. Oh. Isn't it the most divine thing you've ever seen? Okay, so we know we want to go for a very good, I think, again, what I have in my brain, as opposed to what comes out, actually kind of just creates itself. Like whenever I do hair, I'm just like, oh, well, that works. Um, I'm going to go in with my, uh, two, two, is it right? Two, two, five. So we were two, 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 eight. Let's crease her. Um, <laughs> I want to start with just something. I'm going to keep everything pretty shimmery, really shimmery. Um, and I'm going to start with, I want a beige or something in between. I'm gonna use um, this is just like again this is a Kylie Jenner love her makeup love her makeup um it's just a body bronzer but the mirror is really handy it's just really handy so I'm just gonna go in a bit light but we're gonna build on it right. I'm telling you what, I mean, lockdown, let's talk about lockdown, let's talk about lockdown, fully supportive of it, and these are kind of like weird, crazy, almost biblical times, it's kind of scary, but also, um, I got, I don't go out unless I absolutely have to, now I have um, parents that are vulnerable, and children and I had to go to the shop yesterday to get some things for my mum and my dad and for myself and I went to my local chain shop um and outside were three four maybe like 20 year olds really close together all chit-chatting away and I kind of walked in and I'm like mm, mm, mm. Coming to the six feet distance, I like, ignore that. I just dodged in, and then um, as I came out, they were still there, and I lost it. I lost it. I just went. I said, "Excuse me, are you crazy? Are you crazy? This, you know, there are like a thousand people dying every day in the UK right now. Pretty scary numbers, people. Um, and and you're just here chit chatting, completely ignoring the guidelines." What is up with you? And yeah, so I got, I got a bit mad at them and um, they dispersed pretty quickly. And then I realized that one of the girls that was talking had like plastic gloves on and she was actually outside the store policing people to keep their distance. I'm, I'm hello. Girl. <sighs> yeah. 
she had a piece of my mind. Okay, um, this I picked up in a local drugstore. Um, it's bronzing eyeshadows. I kind of like that one. Just want to see what it'll do. It might not be dark enough for what I want to do. Maybe it will be if I use a different brush. My favorite smudger. I'm gonna just use my. This is my favorite smudger. Two thirty. I want to go darker. I really want to make a evening, evening look. So you know you're wearing your little strappy gowns and you're looking like a bronze statue, beautiful bronze statue. Yeah, it's not dark enough. It's not dark enough. Let's go with this one. If not, I might actually um, um, get out my smoky palette and just go ahead and go in with black. If this isn't dark enough. Oh, I think this might be dark enough though. Because what I'm going to do, I'm going to smudge it out a little bit. I've never done it before, but okay. Get on my eye. Um, I'm going right in a half moon, right into the inner corner too with the dark, and then just kind of giving it a slightly winged look. Okay, I'm going in with the Urban Decay um, heat, Naked Heat. I'm going in with Ember. Ember is great. Again, I'm using the same. Stubby smudgy. Ooh. Ooh, that is good. Oh, that is exactly what I want. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. Kind of, I am meeting my eyebrow here and going into the corner, but oh, that's so much better. I will be marrying it all together and just kind of like blending it. Don't you worry. Bring this in a little bit. I'm already feeling much better about that. Okay, I'm going to go back in with my Naked Heat. I'm going to use the Lem... Lem... Lumbre? 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 Lumbre. Um, I'm just going to go a little bit like that here. I'm going so light with this. I'm like barely touching my skin here. Does, but we are glorious. Take a little fluffy brush just to blend that a little bit better. Kind of 
kind of coming in. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay with this. Okay, this is um, Jouer. It's actually a highlighter, but I'm then just gonna I'm gonna pop it on my uh, brow bone. Because it's really light, but it's really shimmery, and it's really pretty. Okay, now now it's time to start bringing some of these darker colours underneath my eye. So going back in with my, I'm going to go in with Scorched, first of all, which is the more orangey colour I put up here. Take that all the way down, all the way across, like under my waterline. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, then I'm going to go with the ember, which is the darkest one. I'll just take that and kind of define a bit more of that corner. I'm making a wing that isn't a wing. <laughs> I like to pat this on um, and what I'm just going to do is um, because I want this quite strong I'm just going to spray this with my primer to damp it a little bit just a little bit and I'm going to go in with the goldiest of golds which one do you think is goldiest I'm drawn to this Dampening your brush. Works, man. Works. So you just gotta pat that on. It doesn't take my fat little smudge. I feel like there's only a little bit too much going on up here. Okay, residue. Be gone with you. I don't mind. I did my base first because I don't mind because I'm using all golds. So I don't mind if some of the residue drops onto me. I don't mind. I'm okay with that. Um, okay, this is nude sticks. It's gold. It's just a gold pencil, and I just wanted to try it. It is apparently magnetic, but I don't. I think it's so you can use those magnetic lashes that you um and people have used these those magnetic lashes that you just paint the eyeliner on and it sits the eyeliner if you have found one a set that works please comment because i have bought so many and none of them work just saying just saying i'm yeah. gonna use my mac eyeliner on my waterline I'm also going to be using it on my upper lash line. Why am I not doing this close up? Same amount of 
pencil that his one I sharpened earlier. Um, just using a sharper brush because I'm going in on the top lash line just to smudge across. I will be putting mascara on too. Like I said, I don't have my individual lashes on. I've got to be honest, that's, that's making makeup applications a lot easier um, because I don't have to work around these lashes, but I feel totally naked without them. Mm, but thank God, you know, we come a long way. The ones that I got, I got off Amazon. And you, there's like a top and a bottom to them. And you, I'll show you how to put them on. It, it, it can be a bit fiddly. But once they're on, they're on. And they do seem like really fluttery. And I don't know. Okay. So we just need a bit going on on the face now. Mm. Mm. What do I use to highlight? Oh, they only have so much makeup support to choose. Mm. Oh, it's actually a decision. I'm going to go in with my, my new fave, solid fave, my Kylie. Sometime. I don't really need to put highlighter really anywhere else because I'm kind of like glowing everywhere. I look like I'm made out of glass. But that was a goal. I wanted glass looking skin. But yeah, let's put a little on the old clavicle. Mm. Feeling like I want a little bit more gold on my lid. So this is just a L'Oreal, one of the few single singles that I have. Um, and using that same damp brush that I damped, dampened down with my Smashbox primer. Oh yeah, that's that, yeah, okay. Okay, now we're talking. I've actually lost count of how many colours I've just put on my eye. Pop in the comments, how many colours have I used so far? My gosh, it just makes my eyes look so blue. Um, anything that says that. It's a friend of mine. Okay, so to do my lips, I'm going to use my MAC. It is at leisure. It's metallic, of course. It's just a, a metallic nude. Then I'm going to go in with her head. You have too many pencils. I even went through them and I was like, no, I want you. No, I want you. No, I want you. I can't bear, I can't bear to throw you away. Okay, and I'm just going to use, um, I, I love this lip liner. It's Rimmel. 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 Um, it is a cup of Chino. A cup of Chino. And I am going to overline. Just slightly. I'm really sure that I, this is really quite sharp. If I can be precise. So many people ask me why I put my lip liner on after my lipstick. Uh, I just do. <laughs> I 
find it blend better and because I use a liner a darker liner it's like a shading brush to me a shading brush shading pencil uh, and then I kind of go during the corners And it gives a more 3D effect. I don't like. I don't think there are many do's and don'ts. Right. Well, there, there, are, there are your standard do's and don'ts, but whatever works for you, right? I'm not sure. I, I don't do my makeup like everybody else does. I can blend this bubble all over. <laughs> Okay, time for the lashes to come out. This is my gun for the lashes. BRB. Hi, got my lashes. Okay, so I'm gonna use some some mascara first. Um, just obviously because you know I don't want like any white bits showing underneath my lashes, and also I want it. It gives the magnetic lashes something to kind of cling on to whilst you put the underneath one on. And I will explain better as I'm doing it, okay? Um, these are tricky to put on, but once they're on, they're on. Um, so, you will see. One side is short. One side is long. The curve goes up. You will have two. The same. The curve up. So you've got to make sure that they go on right, right, right. I'm going to balance this, not in the inner corner. I'm going mainly from middle to out corner. This sometimes this takes me a few attempts, okay? Don't judge. It's pretty hard when you've got something going for your eye. Our friend Neutrogena out here, body mess sunscreen. Glow me. Twist it off. Safe to go. Right, I'm just going to do my hair and then I will show you the finished look. Mm -mm -mm. My arms are aching. Joyco, hair shake, Joyco. I love a Joyco. Um, this is a liquid to powder texturizer. Oh, I'm pretty damn good with it. So it's kind of sprays on wet, and then you kind of rub it in. Not kind of, you rub it in. I don't know why I say these things. And does mm -mm -mm -mm. and it gives you this hold that, like, if you've got hairspray and your hair goes crispy. And you don't like that. That stuff's for you. That's just great. So, um, I'm loving my new really blonde hair. What do you guys think? Do you like the wand curls? Because when I do um, GHD curls, Clyde Man curls, I never go really curly on top. I think I pop a curly mop top. Just need some blingy earrings now. 